Okay, hello everybody, and welcome to my AD English match three um, World Cup qualifier. So, it started off with a riot. Um, playing against Evil Alive and his dwarves, he won the toss, chose to receive. We're in chase cam, so whoever received the ball is gets the camera view. Um, he had a guard longbeard and a dodge runner after two games. I, however, had only managed to loan a zombie. <laughs> so, um, not not a great start for me. So this was like normal progression. Uh, I was going to talk about the relative merits of progression later. Could do it now. Don't know what's best. The format in general. I'll talk about the format in general because people probably only watch the first few minutes normally and then zone out. So let's pause it. So... The AD English one was 10 rounds of Swiss, um, and it was progression, so there's basically, the, the, there's pluses and minuses to both of these things. The fact that there's progression is obviously makes it more luck-based, seeing as some people can get, um, you know, lucky level ups or more level ups, and more injuries, and all this kind of stuff. So there's a lot more dice involved, um, a lot more luck involved, but then on the other hand, it does open it up to people who have legendary edition and obviously people find progression fun so there's that there's that aspect of it as well um but i think as far as competitiveness goes it's a bad idea um the 10 rounds of swiss it it's kind of cool because they only need six rounds of swiss to decide a winner but by making it 10 rounds it kind of makes it double elimination which limits the luck but then you've got the progression, which adds to the look. So it doesn't really gel as, as a format, I don't think. I think 10 rounds with res would have been better. Or 6 rounds with Swiss. Uh, 6 rounds with, with with progression. I don't think adding 4 games to the progression really opens up any different you know races as viable. Like if there was 60 rounds, <laughs> um, you know, maybe, maybe there would be different teams viable for Swiss. But 6 to 10, there's no real difference. It, it it it's nice that the double elimination is nice to be fair it's kind of the fact that i still have a um uh you you can't have res resurrection mode in in normal blood bowl 2 you need legendary edition for res mode that is that is what progression has to do with legendary edition So I like the I really like this blitz by the way. I made a three dice blitz with Mighty Blow, which then chained the long beard into another Mighty Blow here. I thought I was really happy with myself <laughs> um, for making this play on turn one. I was very happy with that. Shame I couldn't make it three dice because of the stun, but yeah. obviously wary of the frenzy there, I couldn't really do. And not would I want to block it off too much. You know, a lot of people would 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 protect over here too much, and then I didn't want to do that. I could have stood him up, but I thought he was getting knocked down again. Only seventy five percent of the time, it's not worth occupying them with the hits. I mean, there was enough there that he didn't want to try and force his way down, so he goes back to the middle, ish. Maybe, all, maybe over, over, overrunning himself there, outrunning the cage, orc thrower style. I mean, okay, he doesn't need to close off this corner, so it's not so bad, but. I don't know, I, I would rather stay more central if I was him. I would have stayed more central turn 1 and more central turn 2. So I decided to do a bit of a... a bit of a Tyrion here and do the half-mans. Looking back, maybe I should have kept him in contact. Should have pushed him there, maybe. Seeing as I decided to follow up there. And then jam in a bit here. Should have probably pushed him to the. But never mind. It's 
to end up marking them anyway. He could have been double marked if I, if I pushed him there. Hmm. She is S P Q R and the um, no, 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 no. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, I didn't really hate giving up this block because it's only one dicer, isn't it? And stuff. One dicer on him. It felt bad to get stunned there because, I mean, I really wanted him in front of the, uh, in front of all the dwarves, didn't I? Cheeky one dice punished. Uh, probably should have thought about protecting the ball before he did that one dice because that, although he was unlucky to double skull it, it uh, it certainly opens up an easy two dice on the ball, doesn't it? I thought more important to occupy the tackle guy, seeing as I've got ghouls. So that's why I stayed and marked him. Four dice on the ball, nothing. Classic. Not just for me, because it, <laughs> it happened. It happened to the Omelord in uh, in my game, didn't it? So in my B DBBC game. So is he safe to tag him because he's got dodge, isn't he? Why well, I didn't like this move particularly, getting my uh, mummy smashed. I thought it was worth it just to try to tie up people. Seeing as you know, the ball's over here and I'm trying to get it. <laughs> and he opened his turn with a dodge that he didn't realize was a dodge. And I've done that before and obviously this is this has lost him the drive completely now. He's absolutely irrecoverable. I should have stood this mummy up first. But, um, I mean, that is absolutely killed the drive for him, doesn't it? And I decided to just go straight for the pickup to make sure I had a reroll for it. Seems I've only got another one other block guy. I didn't want to hit with the mummies and risk uh, failure. But it's there to get an extra assist. Wasn't really necessary because this, this guy could have got the assist. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point what I do. <laughs> Bad reserves are to foul the troll slayer, but without reserves. Fucking cunting, <laughs> cunt of a fucking shithead, fucking cunt, cunt, fucking cunt, 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 fucking beast. Thanks, J. Can style for that. Thanks. Yeah, maybe I should have disabled those, eh? <laughs> Plus, that's not me anymore. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a swearing man anymore. Or at least trying not to be. <laughs> I'm trying not to be salty either. Now this this here was where I lost a bit of focus because I wasn't very happy at having that guy killed, no regen, by a fucking runner block. Um, and this is where I was going to talk about the format because, you know, it's like, it's obviously a bit, it's a bit annoying to have him die isn't it but I mean I had the money so it wasn't really a, it wasn't a great loss because I had the money to replace him um, so you know I just had to get over it but I mean already this team is 0-1-1 you know so like I'm thinking I've only got the, the slightest chance of going 8-1-1 maybe 
maybe I can challenge. But the, here's the thing, you don't really have to win your groups in the World Cup qualifiers because Stringer Bell is 4-0 in a different in a different qualifier. So, so you know, Stringer Bell could let me through is a, is a pity qualifier if he if he chooses to represent the other league he qualifies with. So, you know, in all of these in all these qualifiers, there's really no point giving up because um, second could be good enough. And um, so, yeah, it's it's interesting. Oh, well, second in this case, fifth in the Rebel qualifiers could be could qualify, or even sixth potentially, or seventh. You know, who knows? So it's definitely worth fighting till the till the bitter end in all of the qualifiers. I didn't really care about that one day, but thought I might as well. And in pace. I mean, this is all. This is gonna. This is gonna. Okay. Apart from the dead white, it's gone as perfectly as it could have gone. <laughs> It's been unbelievable half apart from that death. And here, I, I, normally, of course, I would have stalled this out to go one nil up at the half, especially as he's got a knocked out guy. However, I figured scoring now would give me more chance of changing weather so I wouldn't get screwed by sweltering heat. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I went for the three dice. I mean, I went for these because I thought if I fail them, it's not the end of the world because, I mean, it, it's still a pretty safe stall, right? So I thought I'll go for these blocks. Especially on this guy on the right with my three dice my eight Got a cas, I mean that was absolutely massive. Massive block to make. But yeah, this is why I scored pretty much sooner than I should have done. Gave him two chances to get his KO back. But it, I was going for the changing weather because I knew that this, the heat was gonna fuck me. Basically. White and a goo out oh, is pretty bad. But then this would have been amazing to have had these out. So, you know, had I stalled it, he would have had the second half, he'd have had seven men, wouldn't he? He'd have had seven, and I would have had eight. But I would have lost a lot of edge three guys. But I mean, you, you can't really judge anything how the dice rolls went, but it, it's something that everyone does, but it's not really accurate, is it? But yeah, I was just I was just looking for the changing weather. Yes, I, I assumed that I would lose a lot on the heat, um, which you know is a pretty, a pretty safe assumption as far as assumption goes. I have had occasionally benefited from the heat, but more often than not, it feels like well, basically because I feel like I'm usually better than my opponent. You may think that's big-headed, but. I thought I was favourite to win this, obviously being 1-0 up. Um, not that much worse of a team. Um, so I just wanted to minimise the effect of RNG. Screw me. 
which is why I don't like fouling. But if you think you're worse than your opponent, then rolling the dice on the fouling is, is probably a good idea, isn't it? Just KO comes back. And the heat takes out a mummy, which pretty crucial. I mean, it, it takes out a, a decent player for him that, that is mobile dodge player, but I think it hurt me more losing the mummy for sure because I just didn't. I can't really fight him very well now, can I? versus nine. Quick snap, not super relevant. Yeah, it's hard to see which would have been better, to be honest, losing the, losing the mummy or losing the white and the ghoul. I mean, losing the white and the ghoul would have been horrible. Having no no block at all and less movement and everything, but hey, you, you can't judge it like that, can you? I just thought I wanted to not have heat. <laughs> That's why I scored early, but mm, you know. anyway, that was a pretty good blitz, wasn't it? Kill kill a guy, kill his guard. He probably shouldn't have exposed his guard, and. <laughs> Now, while I've got a reserve there, of course, I didn't buy him after the match because I o it always looks like he's a journeyman, so I never get him. And I was talking to chat and everything, distracted, and didn't just didn't didn't get the zombie, so that was disappointing. Failed to pick up. No, no need for a real because he's miles away. But now I'm looking. Pr I'm feeling pretty confident now. Nine against eight. Even though I've only got one mummy. Um, now it's eight versus eight. <laughs> he casts a guy and gets cast in <laughs> straight back. <laughs> Yeah, he would have fit as well. He would have fit on my team as well, bizarrely. He would have fit the team theme perfectly. I thought this was a good move by him, actually, putting these three guys on there. Um, those two guys, because what I wanted to do was I wanted to block him back and then move the, blit move the white around, because that would have got him away from the markers, so... I couldn't get two in because I wanted to move the white over the mummy over here, but maybe I should have got two in and blocked him away. Maybe I should have done that. But I wanted to get the, the mummy in on a tackle guy because he's only got three tacklers now, hasn't he? And I've got a dodge. So as long as I... Four tacklers. As long as I can kind of tie up his tacklers a bit, he's not. He's going to get have trouble getting the ball off the ghouls. At least a little bit of trouble. So yeah, that let me blitz this guy, didn't it? Into the into the mummy as well, which I liked. A bit like feeding people the tree on Wood Elf teams. Got the ball and made this dodge. I think it was a fair dodge to make. Fifty percent to to pass the dodge. Seventy five percent knockdown if he gets hit or more by a frenzy guy and then fail the dodge and get KO'd. So now it's looking incredibly desperate. <laughs> Seven players. But um, he's he's only got eight, so it's still not, not that bad. But it's pretty bad. This is irrelevantly over here, so now he's got three three guys over here to my one. So he's actually let me 
have outnumber him over here, hasn't he? Five versus five plus the ball. So not really outnumbering. <laughs> but, you know, equal numbers over here. Maybe I should have tried to do a handoff and a breakthrough. Hmm, don't know. Did I blitz the Troll Slayer here? Yeah. I really wanted to pow him. Really wanted to pow him. Because he can knock the mummy over, can't he? And then I really wanted to pow this guy as well. And so it was a bit of a horrible turn. Bit of a horrible turn for me there. But obviously move the ball carrier over here. Um, I was put him here initially. And then realised that he could potentially... Um, Knocked down the mummy and then the troll slayer could have run around and surfed him, so putting him on the sideline made him totally safe. And now these guys weren't that much out of position when he gets to run them back. But I like that I followed there because that made him take a guy out from over here. You know, I think he should have kept these two here. But he takes a guy out to get the assist there, which I, I like that he did that, to be honest. But I mean I'm in a I'm in a world of hurt. Like what what do I do here? What do I even do? Maybe he could have GFI blitzed him, hoping for a pal. Then he could have two D'd him, and then I could have potatoed. With maybe some support. Maybe that's what I should have done. Um, but I think I've, I've got a 1-0 lead. I can just try to... I can try to stall. Um, stall on my 1-0 lead. Or not. Um, <laughs> fill the GFI to blitz. But I just thought I'll try and knock these guys down. If I knock these guys down, then maybe next turn I can... Uh, I can move forward or something. And then knock myself down. So that that was pretty unlucky to 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 fail that block after you know you have to use the reroll in the GFI and then and then fail that like a one in six and a one in nine in the same turn made things very very uncomfortable. Also, I'm probably a bit too far back. I didn't probably didn't need to be this far back. So maybe I should have moved up first before uh, before I made the blocks. However, if this was only a push, hmm, I don't know, maybe it wasn't so bad. Gets the power there without tackle. Feels bad, man. I think he shouldn't have pushed me there. I think he should have pushed there, seeing as I'm only moving three. Now, here, I actually thought I had a good chance here. Um, <laughs> even though it looks horrific with everybody on the ground, you know, this guy can run there, pass it, and I can have a screen. Um, so, you know, he's going to get the ball. There. And if I've got a player here and a player here, I've got, I've got a screen, haven't I? But the reroll's gone. Which makes things terrifying. Um, and then I made a fatal mistake here. Because I had this guy stood up, I thought, oh, I can put a guy here and a guy here. But I didn't have the movement from this guy to reach one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He had to GFI to do the pass. And. So he had to be there. But even then. Yeah, that was that was all right, wasn't it? If, so he 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 had to be here, and the thrower here, and then I've got a screen. Now could he have come here? One, two, three, four, five, kind of, but not really. So I just put him in completely the wrong square, and then had to make a GFI to correct it, and of course rolled a one, um, and got KO'd. So that that was really 
really bad. Now, obviously, if the next dice was going to be a one, I would have failed this GFI anyway. But I should have absolutely put him in that square without without GFIing. He would have run there, made the GFI, made the pass and the catch, and then it, that would have been safe then, though. I'd have had the screen, and then next turn I would have ran away and probably scored. But, yeah, that was just pure bad play. Although although it was unlucky, of course, to roll a one and get knocked out. And you know you could argue that he would have made a he would have rolled a one on his GFI if I hadn't if I played properly. But still, he made a five plus dodge by mistake then, um, <laughs> and succeeded <laughs> after I uh, after I fail a two plus. So that was fun. Gets the gets the knockdown and the AV break, which is the killer. The AV break. And now, obviously, I'm resigned. Resigned to a 1-1 one, one draw. But ultimately, it was my fault. If I'd failed the GFI, maybe um, to here, maybe the ball would have got, got thrown back in over here and it would have still been all right. But, yeah. Absolutely my fault for rolling a 2 plus that I didn't have to. I make a kind of, some kind of lackluster half-assed attempt to stop him here but there's really nothing to do with it now maybe I should have tried to force my way through the, the turn when I went back I don't know. don't know why I based there because I didn't need the assist oh I guess to, to base him up because he's got sure hands and <laughs> rolled another. I mean, I should have probably re-rolled that to try and get a pow, rather than putting my uh, mummy on his ass, but it was a bad day for the mummy, rolling both downs and ones on GFIs. And all that basing that guy did was give him a free assist to blitz him with tackle. I mean, now it's really horrible, isn't it? Three, four, five, six players, two of which are zombies. Rolling some double skulls now, but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter for him, does it? I went for the uphill block here <laughs> and when I got injured I was like oh I shouldn't have done that <laughs> oh I really shouldn't have done that because there's there's <laughs> it's not res <laughs> probably probably you should have just accepted the accepted the draw there um, so that wasn't that wasn't ideal <laughs> And he can score there and make it completely safe, can't he? Because there's no way I'm going to be able to one turn with uh, with this many players, or rather, this lack of players. Now it's where he gets hammered by heat when it doesn't matter. Typical. Imagine if this had been the rolls for half time and you'd only had six players. <laughs> that would have been pretty good. But uh, no such luck. But I mean, 1-1's one, probably fair. I did make, uh, I don't know, I feel, like, I feel like I got shafted a little bit by the dice. Although I made that mistake, I still, I still think I had bad dice. Somewhat bad dice. But obviously he's going to feel really bad that he got his, uh, his long beard killed. His guard long beard killed. I mean, a draw is always on the horizon against Wolves, but you'd have thought it would have been, you know, we both score on our own offensive drives, not both turn over each other. So now zero two one in the AD English qualifier. It's going to be, it's going to be tough to submarine for the win. But I mean, 
I could win the next seven. The problem is that the other teams who've got off to winning starts now have, you know, already have the star player points and they can get more and more star player points and and snowball away and develop mentally. I mean, I've only got a couple of skills. I've got a couple of skills after this game, but only a couple. A ghoul skill and a zombie skill, which is really, really pathetic after three games. TBH. Vanity pass. <laughs> And then uh, the spite foul. And I probably, hmm, should I have done this? I guess I shouldn't have fouled because actually I want him to be able to beat people now that he's 0 2 on as well. I want him to beat somebody with a better record, don't I, to give me more of a chance. So I probably shouldn't have made this foul. But there you go. Why not, eh? Why not turn 16 foul? Um, so yeah, it was 8 AV breaks each. He made three cards, I made three cards, but one was on the last turn, wasn't it? Uh, so it was actually pretty even in terms of damage. It just just felt like my drive was harder than his. I mean, his his drive fell apart because he made a mistake, didn't it? Whereas mine fell apart just because I got people banged on. Um, but there you go. So yeah, it's rough. Rough for fantastic AD. I changed them around so it was more easy to see the positionals. Um, and yeah. A level for a good and level for a zombie. Not not great development after three games. But there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.